Hey ladies, today is my beta, today was my beta, um, the day of my beta test. Um, I got my beta results. Let me turn my TV down. I don't know if y'all can hear that or not. I'm watching um, Love It or List It. That's my show. I love all those HGTV shows. Anyway, so uh, this morning I got up, I, um, I really just kind of, you know, relaxed, got dressed. Got, uh, got a shower, got dressed, went up to Huntersville for my um, uh, my lab work at LabCorp, and um, I think I got there around 10, so my doctor just called me at 1, which is almost 30 minutes ago. I just have to call everybody before I make this video, so anyway, um, my uh, nurse called me and said that everything is positive, but of course, you know, I have took like a 50 million pregnancy test. Oh, I think I took like, in total, 10 pregnancy tests. I didn't um, put all of those up because, I mean, you guys got the point. But anyway, so, um, and they all said yes. So, uh, yeah, they called this morning, no, not this morning, this afternoon at 1, and the nurse said that everything looks good, everything is positive, and I go back for my second beta on Wednesday. Then on Wednesday, they'll give me my first, they'll schedule me for my first ultrasound so we can see if it's twins, a singleton, uh, could be triplets, could be quadruplets. I don't know. Who knows? But uh, whatever it is, we know at least one of them is in there and attached and one of them is growing very well uh prayerfully you know i'm blessed with however many um prayerfully it'll be two so we can be done but my husband seems to want to rescue all of the babies that we have left in the freezer and we have five more I can't deal with seven kids, y'all. So <laughs> that's too much. That is like way too much to think about because I'm just trying to wrap my head around being somebody's mom of one or possibly two. So we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, but I doubt he's going to want to rescue all five of those embryos. We'll probably give them up for adoption to, you know, some mother who um, can't... Um, you know, produce eggs or whatever the case may be for some other family. But anyway, that's like way down the line. Anyway, I'm babbling. So we got a pregnancy. We got our blood test. Everything is positive. Um, I did ask for the numbers. She said that um, the doctor, which is her husband, um, just called and said everything looked good. Everything is positive. I think he was like in the middle of a procedure or something. So we don't have the, I don't have the actual numbers. I tried to call LabCorp and they said that they would mail them to me unless I drove all the way back to Huntersville, which is about 20 minutes away from my house to get them. I said, it's not that serious. The doctor said it's positive, whatever. I'll just get them. Um, I'll get the, uh, beta number Wednesday because I have to go back on Wednesday so I'll just get the beta number then because they'll have it up there so I'm not going to just go drive up to Huntersville I, I, it's rainy outside it's not cold today but it is rainy um so that's about it so um yeah I'm a mom now <laughs> this is hilarious like I whew, I don't really know what to say. I mean, I was just, I, when she told me, I screamed in her ear. I, I apologize for that. But um, I'm just happy. God has blessed me and my husband to, um, he has blessed us and trusted us to, um, you know, take care of one of his beings. You know, that that's amazing. I'm, I don't know. I'm just really excited. I'm jumping for joy. Um, yesterday, we already announced it to our church, so. You know, I think I took enough pregnancy tests to know that it was pr pretty much a done deal. So, um, I guess that's about it. Um, I've been playing gospel music all morning. Um, trying to do some stuff for work. I stayed home all day because I just wanted to bask in the glory of being a mother at home with my dog versus, 
being at work, having somebody stress me out because they're emailing me all day, calling me all day. They need this. They want that. Do this. Go here. Da, da, da. You know, so I just decided to stay at home, get my results and relax. And that's what I have done the entire day. Um, so that's about it. I'll talk to you guys. Um, I'll talk to you ladies again on Wednesday and let you know when the ultrasound is. Um, and then I'll get the beta results and let you guys um, hear the actual numbers. So, and I'm excited to see what the actual numbers are too. Hopefully, they're really high because there's a there's a chart online that you can go to. I can't. I think it's called BetaBase.com or something, um, where you can put your beta numbers in, and you go by the date of. I guess of your FET or something weird like that. I can't remember. Um, I played with it a little bit, but I didn't have a number really to put in there. But anyway, um, and it can tell you if you're more than likely, oh, excuse me, pregnant with twins or a singleton or whatever. So Wednesday, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And of course, sometimes the, you know, that number is a little off because sometimes if you have a singleton, you know, you just have higher hormones um, naturally for whatever reasons. But I mean, it can give you an idea and why not just go on and play with it? I mean, what else do I have to do with my time <laughs> so, until until the doctor's appointment? So um, anyway, I'm praying for everybody and congratulations to uh, Faithfully Blessed. She got her beta numbers in her um uh, uh, her BFP. So she's going to be a mommy. And then I think she gets her results on the 18th as far as, or no, she gets her ultrasound on the 18th. And then I think Brittany Deese, she just got, um, her transfer date, which is on the 27th. Um, who else? DTTC. She, um, I guess she finally found her a new, new doctor's office. So she's, you know, she's trying to push for it again. So that's amazing. Um, and it's good to hear that she's she's continuing forward and we're just praying for her um, AF to show up so that we can get started um, or so that they can get started with the next process. Um, who else? Yeah, I can't remember. I'm just I, I'm just so excited about these beta results. I can't even remember. But um, I remember you guys for Wednesday, whoever I forgot. Sorry. Um, talk to you girls later. Bye.